Hello, it's Karen here with my November page for UK Scrap Addicts and this month we're scrapping male subjects. I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone here because I don't very often scrap boys or men. Um, I normally scrap pictures of my daughter or myself or my friends so it's all feminine and girly so this month I'm going to try for a bit of mixed media and grunge for a male layout. I'm going to use this picture of my husband which was taken several years ago but for for me looking at that picture that is exactly how he is. So that's my picture. Um, I have some um, infusions which were quite popular several years ago and I bought loads just because the, they looked pretty on my craft room shelf and never used them. So I'm going to have a little bit of a go with some of these. So there's Golden Sands in the Navy and Lemon Shallow. Um, I have a template and I'm not sure where it's from. Oh, hang on. Maybe I can see there. No. So... That's I thought was quite masculine, and I'm going to use some of this um, Tim Holtz texture crackle paste. And I've also, from an old pizza box, cut several um, cogs. So I'm going to peel those and put some crackle paste on them. And I use this Kaiser Craft die to do it and that's called uh, 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 cogs it's just called cogs so that's quite a useful male die um, I also have some black ink to splatter about and I'm going to use the remains of a kit that I got from Merle Impressions and this range is called Workshop, so it's very male orientated. So I've got lots of bits to use from there. So I'm starting by spraying some water onto my card, and then I want a triangle of the colours, so I'll do that. I'm going to start with the blue, it just, just takes a tiny little amount and it will, when I spray it, it will spread out beautifully. And the sort of orangey one. And it reacts with the water. Go on now the yellow one. Then I just need to leave that to dry. So I might put a bit more blue over here, extend the triangle a little bit. I'm 
I'm going to go away and leave that to dry. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to prepare my cogs by peeling off the backing of some of them so that I have the kind of ridgy bit and then I'm going to add some of the crackle paste. As you can see, I have used my stencil to add crackle paste to the coloured shape. Here I am using a brown distress ink to bring out the crackles in the cogs and the ridges of the corrugated car. some black ink spatters. The next job was to choose the embellishments I wanted to use. I wanted to triple mount my photograph so I chose some papers from the six and a half by six and a half pad to do that and then also pulled out some scraps to make a cross of paper on the page. After adding my strips both horizontally and vertically to my page, I chose my three pieces of paper to make my photo mode with. After adding my cogs and some pieces of ephemera to my page, I started working out the placement of my stickers and other bits of ephemera that I was going to use.
So I have my finished page. If you can see with the little crackle clocks on, I've got my crackle cogs, some scraps of paper and stickers, and the powders, giving it a nice background.